Hey guys, today I'm doing a video on enchanting things above their natural level and also enchanting items and I have no clue why I have a blaze rod. Well, I'm going to explain how it works first. So you have things like armour, tools and stuff like that and you can put them in an enchant bench and you'll get enchantments on them, right? can do that with all these different things, armour, tools, bows, all that sort of stuff. Well, when you've got items like die, things like these, when I put them in the enchant bench they're not going to enchant. And I don't know if you've been on servers or anything but you might see things like enchanted items and you want to do it yourself. Well you don't actually need mods for this, this is completely vanilla Minecraft right here. And all you gotta do, oops, not even pressing the right button, is use command blocks. So you do need cheats enabled. If you're on a survival world and you wanna put cheats, go to open to LAN, click this, and then start LAN world. Then you'll have cheats enabled, even if you don't have internet on or you don't even want anyone on your world. So I'm gonna explain first how to enchant things. So we're enchanting a weapon with commands first. And what I'm aiming for is this right here, just a normal diamond short sword with sharpness 5, which you could get in an enchant bench, but I'm going to show you how to do it with commands so we have a base for all of this. So what we're going to do is slash give at P, which means nearest person, a diamond sword. And if you're unsure of these values right here, like what it's called, what you can do is you can grab it, hold F3 plus H, and because I'm on a laptop it doesn't always work for me but it'll bring up the damage value and the ID name of it. If it's an actual block then you can go to F3 and it'll have what it's called right here but if it's an item you have to hold F3 and then press um, the, the H thing on your keyboard. So yeah I'm going to quickly show you this command again. It gives nearest player diamond sword this is how many of them we want, so if we want two of them we'd put a two here, but at the moment we just want the one. And then we do a display tag over here. ENCH means enchantments and we have to close everything in these curly brackets. And then we put its ID right here which is sharpness 16 and the level, so we want sharpness 5 so we put 5 right here. I'll put all the links to these, well not the links, the little copy and pastings to these in the description so you can use them in your worlds. But here we go, sharpness 5 sword. Okay, now the next one is enchanting an item. So like I showed you over there, you can't put them in the enchantment bench. So we're going to do the exact same thing as we did with that diamond sword, except with an ID for something like blaze powder here. And I've done 51, which is infinity level 5. So when I do this, I'm going to get infinity 10 blaze powder right here. Now if you want an enchanted looking item like this but you don't want um, it to have that enchantment right underneath all you gotta do is change this number right here the ID to any number that doesn't have an enchantment so 52 will give me blaze powder that's enchanted but it doesn't actually have different enchantments underneath which looks cool but it doesn't have the enchantments underneath like I said. Now the last one I'm going to show you is doing in higher enchantments. Now you can do change the level right here, so we use the same command, we change the level right here to however high we want it. It can go up to like 1000, but I'm going to show you right here, Infini uh, efficiency 10, 20 sorry, enchantment, and when I walk on here, change me to survival, it'll mine obsidian very fast, and I won't want to touch this ground right here because that's going to go super fast. So yeah, we just we can change this to like 1000 anything. But one note, if you use this command, it'll have enchantment.level.1000. But any enchantment level underneath level 10 will come up with a nice roman numeral which looks a lot better if you're using it for other people. You just want it to look more legit. So yeah, that's the enchanting things high, you can do it with these, you can do it with anything. Now the next thing I'm going to demonstrate is naming the items with the command blocks and right here we've got Mr. Pointy here and 
Yeah, we use slash give nearest player arrow 1 and 0. I will actually just explain this in the next little setup thing. So yeah, we use the tag here. Instead of ENCH, we write display and then a colon, a bracket, name, and then anything between here and here will be the name. So I've written Mr. Pointy, you can change it to anything and you will get an arrow just like this. And there you go. And one thing to note, you can actually change this to a spawn egg and it will spawn the mob that you wrote with the exact like name. So if I write spawn egg, I only want one value 90, which I'm pretty sure is a pig. And I write here, Mr. Piggy. And I have a spawn egg called Mr. Piggy and when I spawn it, we have a pig called Mr. Piggy. So yeah, I have done a couple of videos on spawn eggs, I'll put a link somewhere here to the video and it basically gives you the IDs so you can use command blocks to get all these kind of spawn eggs and a few extras and we'll go on to the next one which is damage values and laws. So right here we have a damage shovel and you can't tell because it's in that thing but it's actually really damaged and it has one hit left. So what we do here is we use slash give diamond shovel one and this number right here if you use zero it'll give you the default but with things like things that have durability this right here is the durability and in total it has 2651 durability plus the zero at the end so if I do this then it'll come up with zero out of 2651 durability left and you have one more hit with it now as I showed you before we had display but this time we're going to put law right here and then we use these square brackets right here because they mean that you can include multiple tags in this case multiple lines of law so what we're going to get is something that looks like this so I'm going to grab it quickly and you'll see when I mine this it will break okay so I'll quickly show you how you can use this damage value on other things. So say we want a red flower, whoops, that really failed, red flower 2, I'll just put that there, and you write the red flower right here. It'll give me type 2 of the red flowers. So I know it has a really bad law right now, but if you look here we have red flower, red flower 1, red flower 2, and then all these right here. This is yellow flower, just so you know. And yes, the law can have more than one line, so the next line could be, you just put an extra little apostrophe thing, a uh, comma in between the two, and then you write the next line, like that. And once again, I will put all the different commands right here in the description so you can copy and paste them. Okay. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you a nice overpowered kind of sword and it's got the slash give command, it's a diamond sword, it has a display name and a display law. So in the display tag I've just put a comma right here and I'll let you copy and paste this in the description and it's got all the different sword enchantments that are possible and it has a little bad thing right here. Okay, let's get rid of that. But yeah, it's got the name, a law, and also has all these different enchantments. If you want to change the enchantment levels, just change the thing that says level right here. And the IDs I'll explain as well. In the description I'll give you all the different IDs to them. And there you go. So it has sharpness, 10 smite, 10 bane of arthropods, unbreaking, fire aspect, and looting. Okay, so now I've done all that, I have one little bonus thing and I'm going to do it in the chat. I'm going to show you how to give something that is totally unbreakable. So I'm going to do a pickaxe because I want to show you when there's all this sandstone down here. We're going to do one, zero, and then our tag is going to be on, I'm not sure if it's capital, unbreakable one. One usually means true. So if we hover over, right here it says unbreakable. So I'm going to go into game mode S and hope I don't die. Yes, okay. 
and really if you see it does not break you can put enchantments on this too but basically if you want an unbreakable diamond pickaxe then all you gotta do is add that tag at the start and then put a comma and then include any other tags you want so let's go to creative again and I'll show you where to put it so say you want this to be unbreakable at the start of all these tags right here where this bracket is all you do is you put it right here and then you add a comma between the rest of the tags so when I give this to myself it's unbreakable so there you have it if you have any questions just ask in the comments because yeah, I guess that's what the comments are for and if you leave a like it would be very helpful and would really make my day and my render distance is very low but yeah and subscribing would be awesome too and hopefully you'll get more videos like this and yeah thanks for watching